What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're continuing progress with the Vanquish four dice. So, I've got the wheels came in, basically. And so, we're going to put those together today. And then, uh, I said it in my uh, last Vanquish video, or maybe the first one, uh, this is going to be my rock crawler truck. That's what I'm that's what I'm trying to achieve with this build. So, uh, whatever. Uh, we'll get into it as we go. Anyway, I picked up these trio wheels. I don't know if you guys are getting a good look at that or not. They are in this kind of copper bronze finish. I, I think they look really good. I tried some other wheels that I had and this beadlock ring was too wide or the center ring, whatever you call it, was too wide for these Falcons. I want to run the stock Wild Peaks on my Ford Ice. So I went with Triel. I have Triel on another truck, my Jeep CJ7, and I like, I like the thinner look, uh, perfect offset. Uh, just an awesome tire. So anyway, let's just quit babbling and get right into it. So center ring goes in. Again, it's perfect. Sits just in there. Super nice. Again, I don't know if you're seeing that or not, but that's how it goes sometimes. Then what I do is I put my face in Pull the wheel back a little bit. Put this other back plate in. These bead locks go together so nice. They're super easy. Uh, they don't put up much of a fight at all. I I really like them. Trusty D wall. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get one started here. Oh, don't fall off of there. No, I said don't fall off of there. And I'm just gonna take it down about halfway, get a good bite on the threads in there, and that's gonna do it. Then I'm gonna go straight across from the one I just did and put another one in about halfway down. So there I've got two and that's kind of held in place. Then I just pull around the edge until the lip of the bead pops out of the rim where it's supposed to sit. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I can and it's doing exactly what you want. You don't want to pinch. There's a lip in there in the tire where the outer portion of the rim is gonna sit and you don't want that pinched down in, you just want the bead in the wheel. Then I can flip to the other side and it's got the same kind of thing. And I just pull it back so that I can see that lip is all out of there. That's great. And then I'm just gonna go around and get all these other ones started. Like I said, these wheels go together really, really easy. It's a great design. They've got decent weight. I don't have a scale. I don't know what they weigh. So there I've got all the wheels, all the hardware in. And then I'm just gonna double check that that bead's all set. Yeah, that looks great. And then just in the star pattern like you would 
Anything else? And there you have it. That wheel is mounted, and then all you got left is the hub, which you just line up. You don't have to line three pieces in a row up with this wheel. That's, that's what I really like. Super, super simple. Goes together nicely. Just getting the hub on. And boom, that looks good. Again, I don't know how the light is or if you guys are getting a good look at that, but it is what it is. The shop's a disaster still. Um, we're, we're getting there, kind of. So, can you guys see that? See how those wheels look? I feel like that lighting is terrible. Anyway, so now I've got some low weight unsprung uh, in the wheels. That's gonna help a ton. This truck is already exceeding my expectations. Um, and then again, just because this is kinda gonna be my crawl rig, uh, I kind of thought that I would put all the sponsorship type logos on it just kind of as my own my own little touch. So we just put Triel wheels on or Trial, however you say it. I say Triel. What do I know? So I just take an exacto Get the sticker kind of started off the decal sheet. And then that's going to go in the back window here. So. Kind of like that. Stick it. So there's that. You guys get a good look at that? So we got the Trio logo in the back window. That's the kind of wheels we're running. Uh, we are running uh, Falcon Wild Peaks. Those are the stock tires for this rig. So I do have a decal sheet from Falcon. So we'll do the same thing here. We'll get a sticker started. Oh, that might actually be kind of hard to see. That's all right. This is where it's going. See that one? Falcon. Subtle. Subtle and perfect. I like it. And then this truck's running a Hobby Wing Fusion SE. 1800 kV, I believe, I put in this one. So we're going to throw a Hobby Wing on here. Oh, yeah, perfect. So Hobby Wing. And I want to run that one right here. All right, look at that. Perfect. So that's that. That's the that's the vanquish so far. Um, if you guys have never ran a fusion, let me show you this. 
This is stock radio, by the way. Uh, this is the first truck I've ever had that runs like this. And uh, I am absolutely amazed. I'm not gonna get carried away here, but. So she's powered up. Let me get some stuff out of the way. Let's actually, let's actually move so that you're in the line. All right, again, sorry that the shop's a mess, but like, look at this thing. Look at how slow that control is. Unreal. Dude, that's wild to me. That's absolutely, absolutely freaking wild to me. So anyway, there's my Fusion, SE, Triel, Falcon, Vanquish, Ford Ice, Rock Crawler. Um, the only thing that I really have left that I want to do for now is put the light kit in it. So I'm gonna get that ordered up and that'll be the next thing. So uh, we're not gonna wait for the light kit to be here before we go crawl this thing, so stay tuned. I'm taking this thing out to a busted up concrete pile and we're gonna see how capable it is. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Sorry, no run footage. This is just an update of what I've done so far and then uh, We'll, we'll take her out and we'll run her. So, awesome. I, I love this truck. See ya.